Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shots, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a defensive video for you today. That's right, a defensive gameplay. Three videos in the Madden 21, and I'm going to solve all you guys' problems when it comes to defense. Because I hear you guys out there. I hear you in the comment sections saying we need defense. Because defense this year, honestly, uh, at least if you're running defense like you have in the years past, are completely trash. And it's not because defenses don't work. It's because you're not using the right one. So in this video, I'm going to show you the right one. Before I get into the video, though, do me a solid as I'm hooking you guys up hook me up the same way give me a like give me a subscribe all that good stuff really help this channel out if you like anything you see make sure to stick around starting off this video I'm still in the labbing stages just like you guys I and not only that but I accidentally picked the wrong playbook I meant to pick a 3-4 book but for some reason I think I picked uh, the Bills defense when I meant to pick uh, the Ravens defense because they're they're right next to each other so I'm trying some new defenses this new 2-4-5 I'm looking at looks kind of interesting the first two plays I run it first play I get gassed uh, second play I'm gonna try to hit him with an all-out blitz because there's not a lot of things that are getting pressure and you can see I still get kind of beat right up the middle inside runs are very consistent and you can see that the defense that I'm messing with right now really has no business stopping the run the scheme I'm gonna show you later as I get gashed right over the middle is gonna stop runs and passes I shouldn't really call it a scheme because it's really just a concept. This is not a money play video. I'm going to show you the defensive concept that works best. And that defensive concept is cover two man. Now on this first play here, I'm just kind of dipping my toe in the water. This is the very first play that I'm going to run cover two. Um, I, I already had an idea that this might be the better defense to run this year. On the very first play though, I make no adjustments. He hits me with a screen play. I have to remember that he hit me with that screen play because that will come in handy later. But you can see right there, I go away from it. Didn't work out on the first play. I don't want to get you know, too caught up in the same defense so on the very next play i'm going to actually hit him with something that i don't normally do which is a cover four quarters uh, i'm not a huge fan of this defense but like i said i'm still trying to figure out what works in this game the same as you guys are so nothing but zones for the most part on the first series and you can see how much i'm just giving up huge chunk plays none of these zones are working the zone coverages to me they're okay but they're just not really working out the zone coverages aren't very good in this game with the exception of maybe cover three which i kind of like uh and i also think that um that the run fits are either you know really bad or for whatever reason they just don't really seem to work now he hits me with another screenplay there uh there i made a little bit of an adjustment still not really back in the cover two man yet like i said the cover two man is going to come back around here a little bit further in the gameplay right now i'm just running a cover two zone because that's kind of old madden thought uh process when you get to the red zone cover twos usually are one of the better things to run in the red zone and you can see it totally fails i give up a touchdown and this has kind of been the experience of madden 21 for the most part where defense Defense is just not very good at least if you're not using the right plays so back we're gonna go on the offensive side here uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of offensive plays in this video too because there's some stuff that I'm in labbing um, he's running an obvious cover four you're gonna see that play I just ran there a lot it beats cover four very easily it's also a very big play against cover three I'm pretty much just running a wing stack uh, variation of plays that you know I put out last year still very successful offense is a little bit easier uh, than defense as you're gonna see in this gameplay as long as long the other gameplays so here i was actually trying to uh create like a cover two concept didn't really work out how i wanted it um because the running back was kind of the wrong spot and i throw an interception so no big deal turn the ball right back over like i said this is a defensive video anyway and like i said i'm still trying to use i'm still trying to use retread uh madden 20 concepts like this blitz here which was successful last year as you can see hits me with yet another screen uh and these cover twos even though you would think cover twos would do a pretty good job of holding down those screens it's really not now he's got me caught in his defense like i said he's got me on a hurry up he you can see like i said he's just burning me chunk play after chunk play nothing's really doing anything i don't have this guy's respect at all next play right over the middle deep i mean look at it he's just burning me and I'm glad that this video is playing out this way because when I do start using the defense I'm going to show you right here, the cover two man, you're going to be absolutely amazed at how much of a difference it is, night and day. So the next three plays, I'm going to use this exact same cover two man play. Like I said, I didn't mean to come out in the 4-3. I picked the wrong book, but you're going to see right here. You got knocked the f*** out, man. First run play, completely shut down for about a five-yard loss. Then he hits me with a hurry up. I guess he thought he was, you know, he was getting comfortable. He was being very successful. Now he's going to keep me in the wrong defense. Very next nope. play once again stuffed for another loss i mean he was gashing me on the ground he was gashing me in the pass on the next play i mean i see the success is having so even though it's a third and long i'm gonna go with the exact same play come out in a four three against a five wide set this is usually a big mistake but this cover two is so overpowered watch what happens gotcha, bitch. and we get an interception 
by what looks like, I mean, this is my linebacking course terrible. It looks like uh, Nate Gary, who's not very good at all. So I go from getting gassed on back to back plays to basically stuffing the run on back to back plays and getting an interception I had really nothing to do with other than calling the play. So on the offensive side, I'm going to show you guys a couple of uh, offensive plays I'm using. I did pick the correct offensive playbook. I picked the Saints playbook. Uh, this is a play I don't really think I have to explain. If you've been watching this channel a while, I use this play quite a bit. Uh, very first play, we get a nice big chunk uh, yardage throw to the outside. Side. That's kind of the purpose of that play. Next play, I mean, he's running a lot of cover two, so I'm going to try to hit him with a cover two beater. We're going to pick the Saints drag. Um, this is, like I said, I mean, this is a formation I put out last year. Still very effective. All you got to do is motion in this guy, put him on a streak. Uh, I typically like to streak somebody else as well. On this play, I'm going to streak the B route because I kind of like what the A route's doing as a check down. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Ultimately, the plan is just to hit this wire out to the outside, and I had nothing but space. If I didn't pass lead or take a funny angle, I probably would have been gone, but I can't be mad about that, as it was a cover two, just like I expected. The Saints drag was obviously huge. I see he keeps running that cover four, so I'm going to go with that same spot stick play, because this is a cover four play, but then he makes a mistake, and his cover three safety drops, kind of giving away the defense, so I know exactly where I'm going to go. I'm going to go right to the B route, as that goes right at the cover three seam, and we'll get a touchdown to uh, essentially take the lead, uh, but on the very next play, I miss the kick which is strange because I've noticed a lot of people missing kicks Damn it! including my opponent who missed his kick I think it's just getting lazy on the sticks I think that's all it really is so back on defense one more defensive series I'm going with the cover two man one more time this time I'm doing it out of the dime normal and that's because I expect this guy he just seems like a heavy passer so now I'm going to do a little bit more where I'm going to basically make a little bit of an adjustment because he's hitting so many halfback screens I'm just going to put this defensive end into a flat sure enough he takes that away big time you can see how the receivers are getting covered tight all over the field and there is nothing open as you can see right there boom ball gets knocked out when the coverage is tight like that you're going to see that a lot so very next play i substitute a speed linebacker in on the middle linebacker to give myself a little more more user speed and on the next play i'm going right back to that cover two man making the same adjustment i'm going to put this defensive end in a flat and that's all there really is when it comes to the setup now you can put the other defensive end in a flat it's really your choice the reason i'm putting this defensive end on the flat is because i'm trying to mirror the running back which he's been hitting me with a lot of halfback screens uh, that's one reason uh, another reason is because the open side of the field is to that side obviously there's more space so i want somebody to cover that space and then another indicator is uh how many receivers are on that side he has two receivers on this side uh, including the running back making it three receivers so that side makes the most sense but ultimately you're going to choose which defensive end to put on a flat or whatever type of zone based off of those three indicators so now he runs the play. Like I said, you're going to see this guy's going to take away the short throws uh, to pretty much every receiver. He was underneath all of them, and all he is is in a flat route. And then I just have to cut off the short route here. You can see he makes the throw to the drag. Once again, tight coverage everywhere. Nope. The man coverage knocks the ball out again. Then on third and 10, he has no uh, running backs. So instead of putting this guy on a flat, I'm just going to make him my user. I'm going to stand up with him and cover the middle of the field because I want to use somebody that has no responsibility. And then you can see I'm just cutting off routes. Nope. Once again, Again, tight coverage, incomplete pass. That's three in a row. Now in fourth and ten, like I said, this guy was gashing me. Fourth and ten, game on the line. You can see we have all the indicators set up. He's got three wide receivers, all of them on the open side, the larger side of the field. So, you know, there's no there's no way this play is going to go anywhere else but to those three wide receivers. And since it's a fourth and ten, I know it's got to be a deep pass. So I put my defensive end in a curl flat rather than a hard flat, which basically gives me the best chance to succeed on this play. So let's see how things turned out. Like I said, this time curl flat is going to drop back deeper. You can see it gets in the way of everything. I take away the seam. He throws it across, nope. and that is a absolutely lights out coverage defense for four plays in a row. If we do the math, when I ran that play, the only successful play he had uh, was a screen play where I didn't make an adjustment. When I was making the adjustment, he went 0 for 5 with an interception and two runs for negative five yards compared to him just completely gashing me the rest of the game so that's why i'm putting these videos out in gameplay because i could tell you the play works but when you see it like it works like this you make your own judgment and obviously you're going to make the judgment that this is the way to go in madden 21 so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section hit the like button other than that thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below